Hey everybody, we're here in the magic lair, finding all sorts of magic items, I I suppose. Spell book, skull, ooh, I don't like that, a scroll, oh, and the important thing is Gaspar. He, he had a little uh, figurine of himself. Kept it inside his closet, because that's where I keep my figurines of myself. So here's the storyline. Um, Idris knows my intentions. He'll try to stop me, but I can't kill him. He was good to me. So yeah, this cat is actually a magician. It's it's not really a cat. Yep, Gaspar turned turned a magician into a cat because reasons. Oh, I find it interesting. Gaspar is such an evil villain who's always trying to destroy things and yelling and being nasty, but at least he has the one friend he doesn't want to kill. That's probably the most to anything, you know, that's probably the nicest praise we can say about him. Other than that, he's he's just an evil monster. Okay, sulfur here, mana crystal here. Puzzle time, puzzle, puzzle, puzzle time. Let me see. I want to grind this. And I want 4.5, yeah, I want 4.5 of it. So I think the way to make 4.5 is these three. Next I use the dropper to move these together. So I mix green and blue in that. Then I take a spoonful of crystals. I put it all in there. This is the recipe that I was following. I just have it memorized, that's all. I guess I played this game too much. <laughs> anyway, I don't think I melted these blue crystals yet. Melt. No, what? I did it. Oh no. Game is not responding to me. Okay, so what? I'll just let's get the puzzle here. The game seems to be disagreeing with me on what I did. I totally did that. Cool. So now I've got the potion, which I can use in order to stop that evil, evil, evil golem. Okay, golem, who's just standing there menacingly, not actually trying to stop me, just standing there kind of nasty. Come on, Romeo, throw! Mm. Yep, it worked, it worked. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I am the greatest. So, now let's go to the volcano, because, because reasons. Oh, hey, Lucas, how's it going? I need to find a way to stop Lucas. In the meantime, he's just gonna stare there, stand there and stare at me, uh, not try to stop me. He's just gonna stare at me. Thanks for not trying to stop me, Lucas. Alrighty. So I've got some more items here. What do I do with these items? Let's see, all can be used over here. This goes here for a puzzle. Very simple puzzle, what we want to do is just get all the pieces into place. Uh uh, uh uh. That piece is in the way, so we'll move this piece into place. That piece is in the way. There we go. Just move the starting piece out of the way a little bit, that's all. Okay, and that is an evil magic glove. I don't think I have anything to stop that me evil magic stuff. So, uh, I'm just gonna destroy this statue. Because violence. And now I've got an anti magic glove to pick up the hypno disc. Okay, so now that I have the net, I can defeat Evil Gaspar. I mean, Lucas. I'll never talk. You don't know what it's like to be a hunchback like me. 
I must obey Gaspar. If you're smart, you'll forget that girl and run. I'll never forget her. I love her. And that's all he has to say. Okay, so Gaspar... Uh, why do I keep calling him Gaspar? Lucas doesn't want to talk to me. He's just being kind of angry and, you know, complaining about life in general. And we're just, just going to ignore him here and go back to go back to Gaspar's house. Let's see, now I've got the pendant. We can turn this magician back into a human. I think we solved the puzzle by pressing the pieces in clockwise order. Yes, we do. Nice. Okay, Idris. Hey, Idris. Thank you, Romeo. My name is Idris. I was Gaspar's mentor. I found him wandering through the stone forest, his heart broken by his beloved's death. I took him in, hoping his rage would burn out, but I was wrong. His hatred burns bright and deep. He turned me into a cat so I couldn't stop him. Take this hat, Romeo. It is my gift to you. Using it, you can read even the darkest corners of the human mind. Idris, Idris, can't you just use magic or something to help me instead of giving me a hat? I... I guess not. Okay, so he gave me a magic hat. A magic hat that can read minds. I guess that's cool, but I, you know, it would be more helpful if he, he, he gave me some of this invincible magic or, or whatever... Come on, come on, Idris. This is not the end of your job. Your, your job is to help me from here on out, not just, oh, here's a hat. Bye. Okay, so let's use the hat to read Lucas's mind. Gaspar has one weak spot. He gave his heart to the volcano to master fire magic. He will die if it is destroyed. But the volcano's entrance can only be opened with the amulet Gaspar wears. He is hosting a masquerade at his mansion tonight. I have a spare invitation. Okay. Well, it looks like Romeo and Juliet's stories are coming together quite nicely. So, I have to go into the volcano to stop Gaspar. And Juliet needs to go to the masquerade ball in order to stop Gaspar. So the true, the true lovers are working together, and I send it via this message: the flying envelope. Switch to Juliet. <laughs> Juliet, Gaspar does have a weakness, but I need the amulet he always wears to reach it. I need you to steal it. Oh, Romeo, can't you give more information than that? And close is an invitation to his masquerade ball tonight. This is your only chance to steal his amulet. I know you can. Love, Romeo. Romeo, why don't you say something like, Hey, by the way, his heart is inside a volcano. If I don't die, blow up the volcano to kill him. I... I'm actually not sure how you would blow up a volcano, but maybe, maybe you can. Maybe you can. Maybe that's something that's just, 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 just volcano-y. And I've got a mask. I've got a mask and an invitation to the party. So, this works. Let's go inside the party. 